Hey guys, Coach Allender here, and going to talk a little bit more about beginner wrestler techniques and moves today. Let's talk about the double leg takedown. So everybody needs a takedown, and there are a lot of different kinds of takedowns. There's even different types of double leg takedowns, or different ways that you can take care of it and finish it. All right. So uh, first off, we got to start off with a good stance, right? So we talked about the stance. You got a lead leg. Your hands up here in front of you, right? Your back straight, your butt's down, you're on your toes, okay? So for our double leg, whenever we come in to take this shot, one thing that's gonna happen is, is you gotta close the gap. You gotta be close enough to touch them, okay? So with the little guys though, I don't really like to teach them to touch the shoulders. Um, that used to be something we, that we teach a lot. Whenever you reach out to touch the shoulders to check your distance, you're opening yourself up, okay? So what I like to talk about is close enough to touch heads, all right? So you can still protect yourself, but you know that you can touch your head. If you can touch your head, you're close enough for a shot. Whenever you come in for the shot, whenever your duck walk or penetration step, whenever we come in for that, you take your step and you come down, you're changing levels, right? As we change levels, our knee hits the mat. When we get a little older, we talk about speeding that up a little bit. So penetration step, knee hits the mat between their legs, we're coming behind here, behind their knees. And so a blast double would come behind the knees, foot would come up, and we just drive them through. Okay? And you're on top of them. So a little bit faster. We'd be here, we close the gap, we're close enough. I come in, shoot, drive, and I'm on top of them. Whenever you're practicing, keep a hold of them. I never did let go of them whenever I landed on top of them. If you get used to just knocking somebody down and quitting, that's how you'll do it in a match. So always practice, just like you do in a match. You wanna keep your head up whenever you shoot through. So whenever we're coming in, I take this step and I shoot down. The one thing you wanna remember is to keep your butt up underneath you. If your butt's underneath you, you're strong. If you get laid out, they'll sprawl on you and they'll take way too much energy. So the other way that we teach this is whenever we come in, I like to teach turn in the corner or looking across the back. When you come in, the fine details is that you want to keep your head as close to them as possible. Your ear is glued to their, to their hip. And so when I say look across the back or turn the corner, that's exactly what we're doing. We're pulling in at the knees, you've got your power foot up here, and then you look across the back. Finish the move. So we'll do that one more time. Grayson's gonna turn this way a little bit so you can see me come in. As I come in, I take my shot, I changed levels, I came down, I got my butt underneath me, my power foot came up here. Now I'm just gonna look across the back with my head up and my ear tight to him. You always wanna make sure that your hips are square to the ground. That's that good foundation that we talked about. Even if you're on top or bottom position, your hips are very important. Stay tuned and we'll have more.